Hey guys, this is Martin from Bug Bounty Service, and today I'm going to show you an advanced attack uh, utilizing an open redirect to actually steal an access token of a locked in user. Okay, so as you remember from one of the pretty previous videos, open redirect on its own is typically considered a low vulnerability. But if you can chain it with other vulnerability classes, like for example, exfiltration of data or cross-site scripting or any of that, then it becomes a high, if not a critical vulnerability dependent on the scenario. But I'm going to show you <coughs> how to leak out basically um, the administrator token. So first of all, I'm going to log in here. Um, this is an administrator portal with admin and test. And I simply log in and then I'm being presented with my diet plan, right? So if I take a look at this here in in Burp, basically I have done my post request where I effectively logged in, right? And one thing you can immediately see here is, well, you get a user info cookie set, but you also get an SSO, like a single sign-on um, cookie set, which is very interesting. And that's really what I'm after. And then you will see in subsequent requests, it basically passes the SSO cookie. It passes the SSO cookie um, with the requests, like the single sign, sign on effectively. So what I can do now in the browser is I can go to my cookie manager and, and I can basically delete that cookie, right? So I'm deleting the single sign on cookie. And then if I'm going to refresh this, so I'm going to simply reload let me do this in another picture, actually, um, in, a, in another browser tab. Um, so I, I request this, and you see there's a, there has a redirect has taken place. And the redirect basically was going to dietplan.php because it seems like that we are still locked into our session with the other cookie, with the user info cookie, right? But let's confirm this here. So let's take a look. What we have done is effectively, you see there was this get request being made. And interesting, you can see here right away that the SSO cookie was attached as a parameter to the get request, right? So now um, what you would do is you would analyze the whole website with a tool called, um, where is it here, Paraminer. And effectively, you would look for hidden Par parameters effectively on the website because there is a, uh, a redirect going on, but we don't know the redirect parameter. So I have already done this in advance. And basically I found out that there's a return to parameter on the login challenge. Okay, so if I go to the login challenge once again, um, to this one here, right? If I enter, I'm being redirected to the diet plan. But if I, if I now go in here and say like, redirect or re return to right and then basically i have um a, a value to control here and i could simply say like for example to uh, martinvolk.com which is my personal website right so i could do this and then i hit enter and what's going to happen next is you will see that it makes a call to martinvolk.com and but it's also appending or prepending i must say the bug bounty training domain however in the context of this as you can see this here in white this is the actual server where it's going to so in my access logs in my http apache or iis or whatever web server i have engine x whatnot i will actually see that this request was made this is an it, it couldn't find the site naturally because i don't have this subdomain being configured on on my server but the token was leaked so in my access log i would now basically see the following i would see something like this that the return to so this, this was the request we sent and then over here you can basically see the appended the appended SSO. So the SSO parameter or the, the SSO token was appended. And I cannot show you the, the server logs right, right now on of, of the server, but if you would go through the Apache server logs, you would see this request coming in. And 
you would see the SSO token. And then the SSO token would effectively have been leaked out to a third party. And this is how you utilize a um, open redirect vulnerability to exfiltrate or steal access tokens. And that makes it a high or critical vulnerability. I hope that makes sense. And I see you in the next video.